Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Not too bad today by yesterday's standards. This is practically early for this morning's Qigong. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Only three minutes late today. That is absolutely bang on time as far as I'm concerned. Good morning, Jules. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to today's Qigong class. Join me, join me. I have to say, I've been spending, um, whilst we start, I know, I, I know, I'm here. I have got wet hair though, which I'm trying to disguise. I think I'm just going to have to, as usual, style that out as well, because otherwise I would have been late again, but never mind. We're okay, I might just tuck it in here so you won't notice so much, there we go. Right, of course it will come out eventually. But anyway, right, everybody, let's start. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Happy, happy, happy. Let's just start with our bit of shaking before we get started. Lots to talk about today. So first of all, Jules, I couldn't read, I've asked Emily to make it bigger, the, 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 the poll for which symptom we were going to talk about today. I mean, you know, call me old, but I actually could, I couldn't read it. So I've got absolutely no idea what we're talking about today because I couldn't actually read the words and I need to go and get my eyes tested, but I, I can't. <laughs> So, uh, well, I will eventually, once I can get to the shop. But anyway, for the moment, I can't get them done. So, Jules, you're going to have to tell me what the topic is for today. I've also understood that the topic is uh, we are not going to uh, go overboard with the meditation in the Qigong. That we've all concluded that we prefer chatty Qigong. <laughs> chatty Qigong, it's a thing, isn't it? So we've decided that we're going to stick to that. What I might do is when we get to the very end, when we do the crystals and we do this exercise and we're spinning, I might take that into meditation, okay? Just so that we can all kind of just get, the, get used to that. Just like one movement of going into a meditative space and see how we feel with that, okay? Well, it's, it's, it's okay, it's only a couple of minutes and it's at the end of the class. So I think that's fair enough. But anyway, in the meantime, let's shake. What is it? Sinusitis, okay, sinusitis it is. Right, so Jules, I don't know if you missed what I just said, which was, um, I also recognise that not everybody wants to do like the deep meditation during the class. We might, we might just save that for the weekends. So we've concluded we prefer chatty Qigong, which is what this is. The Taoist masters will probably turn in their graves, but never mind. Um, chatty Qigong it is, and then what I think I'll do is in the very, very last movement with the crystals, I might take that into meditation just so that we can try it, okay? Because we're gonna like get over our fear of meditation and thinking that we can't do it, okay? Because we can. And it's my job to help you because it makes a massive difference to how you feel. It will make a difference to that stubborn half stone of fat that you can't get off around your middle, to that low energy that means you can't really enjoy your life properly, to that aching joint that means you can't exercise the way you want to. It's those kinds of things that we're looking to address in this class, okay? Not to mention, the kind of group community and the general support of our each other's well-being that we're offering by doing this class together because I spent a lot of this weekend reading your comments and your direct messages and your emails and we've got and thank you so much and please keep sending them in and sending your photographs sending your pictures sending things that we're inspiring you to do I don't care what it is send it in and we put it up on our stories okay because we love all this and it's really helping me understand what I need to focus on in the classes, because if I can understand what the pain is, and I can understand the life stories, it makes it much better for me, because it means that I can kind of slightly tailor the content for you. So do please talk to us, okay? Nina's picking up all the messages. Jules and I then read them. We love them. Right, now have a good shake. Oh, get that middle going as well. That adhesion is almost gone. Ah. Oh. Shake, 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 shake. Really vibrate. Breathe in. <sighs> wanging on Qigong. <laughs> We're just gonna wang on. Everyone wants me to wang on, Jules. <sighs> Breathe in. No, I like chatty qigong. It's got a better, it's got a better clatter to it. Chatty qigong. Right, so now let's just do some tapping. If you don't have a tapper, that's fine. Use your loosely clenched fist. If you're not feeling too good, you can go to a cupped hand. And if you're very delicate, you can use just fingertips. I was with um, the great Nicola Joss yesterday afternoon. Oh my God, she's so amazing. And she uses her fingertips like this as her wake up beauty. 
this is what she does. And she is the facialist to just about everybody. I can't believe she was talking to me, but anyway, she was. So there we go. Gwyneth Paltrow and I have even more in common. <laughs> we now both know Nicola Joss. <laughs> right, but anyway, back to tapping. So use a loosely clenched fist. Oh, thank you, Colga. That was, it was fun, wasn't it? It's up there on my gym MTV, honestly. MTV, what am I, 16? <laughs> GM, um, oh my God, GMTV, what am I? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Uh, uh, what are IGTV? There we go. Good to see GMTV. Honestly, it reminds me of when my daughter was little. I used to sit there watching Lorraine Kelly with her. <laughs> she finds that hilarious. So when she was like a year old, we used to sit there and watch Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> I said she used to love a bit of Lorraine. She still likes it now. I know, MTV. Sorry, where is my brain? Honestly, I was in such a flat this morning, to, hence the wet hair. Honestly. So, um... I was in such a flat to get here on time. I was like, oh my God, I can't be late, I can't be late, I can't be late. <laughs> so yesterday's debacle. And let me tell you, it didn't get any better yesterday. It just went from, it started in complete shambles and it stayed that way. But never mind, Lorraine Kelly. Oh, I don't know, I love Lorraine Kelly, I think she's fab. Honestly, Lorraine Kelly defined my baby years when all my little ones were little. I just like watching a bit of telly with them in the morning because I'm not much, well, I'm saying I'm not a morning person. That's obviously not true because here I am every morning leaping about in my house talking to you guys about Chicago. So obviously, obviously I have evidently become a morning person, but trust me, I was not a morning person when my children were little. So we used to have the telly on until the rain finished and that was the wake up call to get out and about. And then out we went. I'd love to be on the rain. Should be sad. Now, now breathe, remember, all of these exercises we're breathing down here, down into the, exactly, we all have a bit of the range, it's fab. Down here, into the lower abs, we're going to breathe, I won't take you too much into the meditation today, we will do it at the very end, there, just a little bit, but we've got to get that breathing, Qigong, life force practice, two things to create life force in the body, breath and food. And breath is more important. I know we think food is, it's not, it's breath. Breath, 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 breath. You need an open window, you need these exercises, each community, and little by little, one marble at a time, we start to make a little difference to our lives and it will make a difference. I'm reading these amazing stories that you're sending me in about how things are shifting for you. Traumas, weight loss, painful things in your body, whether it's joints or emotions your feeling of satisfaction in your life. We're not changing the world in a silver bullet, but we're giving you the capabilities within the body to withstand the turbulent life that we all have to lead. We all go through pain, all of us, every single person. It's awful, I wish we didn't, but we do. There is a spiritual reason for it, which the Taoist masters talk about. I'm just reading this amazing book about the psyche, actually with Chinese medicine. And they are very clear about the fact that the, the concept of transcendence and transcending to the higher spiritual virtue of the human soul through pain and suffering of the emotions in the body. This is what they talk about. They talk about it everywhere. It's in my book. We talk about it because you know what? Not because of being sanctimonious, but because I found it really helpful. It made sense of the misery. When I've been through my own personal traumas and tribulations, of which there have also been many, I don't think there's anybody watching this feed right now who unfortunately hasn't had to suffer in some aspect of their life and been through hard times. This is what unites us as humans, especially at the moment in this kind of post-COVID moment that we're all now finding ourselves in. But the way to do this is by community spirit, by getting the body strong, okay? If the body and the organs are strong, it's easier to navigate these things, especially if you have the understanding as to what it is you need to do, that there are ways to transcend pain. There are ways to overcome it. There's ways to understand what the body is actually trying to do. And the basic, basic rule, okay, basic, basic, purge and nourish. You need to purge out things we're holding on to that don't serve us, whether they're in our channels or in fat cells or in joints or even in the organs themselves where they can end up. We've got to get rid of them. That's why we tap, 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 tap. We're going to get it out into the lymphatic system. We're going to breathe in good oxygen. 
community spirit, laughter, higher vibrations, higher frequencies, which means you've got to make space for them because we want them in the body. We want them. We want that bit. We don't want some nasty trauma that some horrible, vile person did to us when we were in our teens or 20s or younger or 30s or whatever it was that life threw at us. It was so vile. You know, we're a lovely team of people here as a community. We're all supporting each other. We all are giving each other compassion and support. So let go of it, as awful as it was. And let's bring in the lovely stuff, okay? The tapping to bring in the vibration and the joy and the compassion, the higher frequency. We're gonna grow our souls and deal with our symptoms. Tap, tap, tap. There, right. Let's just... Yes, actually, I've got to stop doing that. It's my fault. The problem is, is because this is also... This is my class for myself in the morning because this is where this all started. This was like what I did. And then in lockdown, I just started... I just flicked on Instagram and thought, oh, I'll see if anyone's interested. So... As a result, I'm quite spleeny, okay, as a person. You can see that with my kind of, the way my body is. I've got kind of, you know, this is spleen, okay, sort of quite quite muscly, quite quite textury as a, as a body, quite body. I've got quite a lot of body on me. That's a spleen body, okay? And that's fine, because uh, spleens are all about, spleen, spleen, earthy spleeny people, uh, they like caring for other people. <laughs> So, hello, <laughs> which is what I love doing more than anything in the whole wide world, giving things away and looking after other people. That's what I like to do, uh, which makes me very spleeny indeed. And that's absolutely fine because that's why we're all here. But it means that when I'm whacking myself with the tapper, yeah, lots of us are spleeny. If, when I'm having a go with the tapper, I'm like whack, whack, whack. But, um, you know, you don't have to go as hard as me, okay? You can go gently like this. The tapper is lovely. It goes at whatever pitch your body wants to be at. Go to pleasure, okay? Go to pleasure. Go to pleasure. Healing, it's a pleasurable sensation. Sometimes it's painful, but even that's bittersweet. And what I'm asking you to do when you're not feeling great is go to bed. Look after yourself. I say that to patients. In the olden days, we'd all be in some kind of lovely convalescent home with rugs over our legs, looking at a pleasant view, and, you know, we'd be playing cards with each other. But sadly, um, unless anybody would like to start playing uh, set it, of course, Mr. Ferryman would be only delighted to set up some bridge. <laughs> Does anybody want to play bridge with my dad? <laughs> he loves a, he loves a game of bridge as my father. He's very delighted with this taffer, as you saw on my post. <laughs> he was quite bashful, actually. He went, gosh, he said, that's a lot of people. He said, I should have brushed my hair better, he said. So sweet. Okay, so nauseous, that's part of it as well. Nausea, that is. Right, <laughs> anybody wants to play bridge with Arthur Ferryman? <laughs> Jules won't let us do, don't do, don't direct message. Jules will kill me, okay. <laughs> Okay, if anybody wants to play bridge with my father, email us in and let's see what we can do. <laughs> my dad loves a hand of bridge, that's what he likes to do. So he spends his entire retirement doing fussing his dog. <laughs> he comes in every day because uh, he's in lockdown here and uh, he has a little, he has a 45 minute chat with me. Right, Jules, anyway, if anybody wants to play bridge, you need to email, okay? <laughs> I know, my dad's really sweet. He still doesn't quite understand what the heck's going on. Instagram's a bit, of a, it's, it's a bit overwhelming for him. He doesn't really understand it, but anyway. Breathe. Sadly, my dad was a widower. Um, very sadly, my mother died of cancer many years ago. And my dad was basically completely and utterly lost without, he didn't know what to do. They were like sort of teenage loves and they'd been together ever since. And then my poor mother died. And my poor father. And then after a year, he said to me, I don't know what I'm going to do. I said, well, what are you going to do? Dad, you need to go online. You need to meet someone. He goes, oh, well, you know, I've, I've met all the ladies at Bridge. He said, and none of them seem quite right. <laughs> so sweet. I said, Dad, you need to get online. So he did. And he was snapped up. <laughs> and he's lived happily after ever since. Very, very sweet. Right. Let's get those healing sounds in. So um, let's now get ourselves up to the higher vibration, please. Breathe. This is now we've purged out. We're going to nourish through. We're going to allow the organs to strengthen up. And we're going to bring in brilliant, brilliant stuff. 
smile Chicken can help with asthma, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Go to your heart, go to universal love and joy. Ah. Ah. And then we're going to go to the spleen and the liver. The location is here at the bottom of the ribs. I'm going to the spleen first, which is on your left hand side. Your left. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, don't put me off in the middle of the healing sound. Save that for laughter, Chigong. <laughs> Wanging on and ranting. Right, I've got to concentrate. Whoa. To your right hand side, this is the liver. Think green, think kindness. Then go to your kidneys, which are on your back here. Think wisdom, think inky blue black. Choo. Jules, can you please save these comments for laughter, Chico? And then the other side of heart. He Right, then you take your crystal. Jules needs it. What is it? Demi John? Is that what my granddad used to make wine? Is it? That's the massive John, is it? That's what Jules needs. Right. No <laughs> John. Is a 
great sign of release. Breathe, it's because the body's opening, the body's trying to release. This is an absolutely brilliant, brilliant thing. A yawning, bring it on, okay? Yawning is great, it's because the, when the body yawns, it's trying to bring more oxygen into the body because you're basically feeding it. It's like hunger, this is great. Yawn away, okay? Right, so uh, now we're gonna go to the laughter Qigong. Uh, so no, no, yawning is a big thing, yawning, crying. Um, anger, frustration, kind of um, things flaring up before they then get better again. This is all part of the healing crisis. This is what we're doing. We're nurturing life, okay? We're going to do it. Right, okay. Jules, you don't need to make me laugh with all the funny things that you would just say, which were making me laugh and I've forgotten everything. <laughs> anyway, we're on the timer. Let's start, okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter, laugh and yawn, just go with it. Style it out, I'm doing that every single morning. <laughs> Styling it out, just yawn, yawn. <laughs> Jules, don't give away my NPD, please. <laughs> Bad enough being me as it is without you helping. to be a minute come on <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry but I'm calling that a minute this is ridiculous <laughs> oh thank goodness for that my god my immune system must be going skyrocketing I could show you actually Actually, Jules, first of all, stop giving away my NPD because it's got to be under wraps. And second of all, since we're all talking about the genital gym this morning, you can use your tapper. Let me show you. This is very good for you. The only reason I don't do it is because people will laugh at me. Okay, so I'm not doing it. But for you, the secret 374 people that are just watching right now, you can tap between down here because the perineum is basically a massive source of energy for the body so it's, it's actually extremely good for you so there and no i don't have a penis and therefore i couldn't demonstrate it properly but it was quite funny <laughs> anyway right now we've got all of this delicious laughter going on inside our bodies we are going to now uh actually i'm going to do it a different way around i've decided we're going to go and do the um the leg raises first and then the breathing and then we're going to go into the flow okay i'm going to change it around ever so slowly it was funny it was funny we had the most amazing uh, team meeting because basically what we're doing is um, I know I hope loads you should do that it's really good for you I'm not going to do it because it looks a bit weird but um, it is a good thing uh, it's a good piece of advice to give you but um, the lifeblood of this business is coming up with kind of like new inventive ideas that no one's ever thought of that everyone looks at at first and goes oh my god what is that which is what they said about the beauty restorer and the comb and the tapper and just about everything else that everyone thought I was mad and they probably still do but anyway these products are going to start rolling out as of August. Well, actually, no, as of July, something very exciting is going to happen, and then something exciting in August and September and October and November and December and January. That is how much exciting stuff's going on with this brand. So it's all great. Anyway, let's get back to it. So we're going to just do our leg raises now because I want to flow more. So what I'm going to do to keep everyone happy is we're going to chit chit chat. But um, by the time we get to the rose courts at the end, I am going to take you into meditation, everyone. Okay, you have been warned. Jules, you can entertain anybody that doesn't want. 
want to do it. So uh, stand with your feet shoulder width apart, arms up, press up, push down, really push into your feet, breathe, breathe. And up and down. And up and breathe. Imagine you're being pulled up. Whoops, well, every time I move, I wobble myself off. Sorry, don't do that. <laughs> Just stay, breathe. Honestly, Helen will back me up from Bikram Yoga. I can do this move. She sees me in class doing this. And up and down. And then let's just do our big breathing, the Iron Shirt Qigong. This is a really brilliant exercise. So breathe in and you're gonna keep breathing. So open, breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lizzie, try the foot bath as well. Just try washing your feet as well. You're gonna sleep even better. And Jules, can you grab that? That's a great testimonial because it's a nice short one. If Lizzie, if it's okay, are we allowed to put that up? Breathe in. Breathe out, there. Right, now we're gonna flow, okay? So, oh, thank you, Jules. And just to say, everyone, before we go into the flow, do send us your stories, even if it's just short little ones like that, or, or long stories, we want to know. It really helps me um, formulate what I'm gonna say in the class. I mean, I know we're kind of like, just kind of talking and chatting, but it goes into my heart, what, what, what I'm hearing you telling me, because it helps me talk to you about things right now breathe if you want to do the meditation just take your attention inside your body go to your inner world slow the movement down breathe into your lower belly Breathe. Keep your attention down in your lower belly. Slow the breath. Slow the stretch. Just notice how you feel. This exercise is really good for your waist. Had so many people writing in saying that they've lost weight and that their waists have come back. That sort of middle age, half stone that just won't seem to go. Go the other way. After a couple of weeks of doing this, you start to notice things start getting a bit more sculpted, a bit more what they used to look like. It's partly because we're getting rid of the toxicity that's being held there because we're tapping it and laughing it away. But it's partly because we're strengthening these core muscles around the middle of the body. and especially the digestive organs, which is what we're doing right now. This exercise is getting all of the digestive organs, strengthening them up one marble at a time, slowly, slowly in an organized fashion. Do this, add your 12 rivers, meditate, listen to Jasmine with her beautiful sound healing. Allow this to come into your life every day. If you don't have time, that's okay. Get a tapper, use a tapper. 
just for two minutes morning and evening if you don't have time to do all of these exercises just do that use the comb in the shower that's what the hey you method's for right let's go to standing we're going to lift the sky that's the idea of the hey you method is it's just distilled all of this stuff that i talked to you about down into those three simple steps restore reset and rescue and if you just they're like brushing your teeth okay and if you don't have time for everything just do that every day just like you brush your teeth breathe in breathe out it's amazing the difference you can make to the body in just a couple of minutes a day it's wonderful for us to all join on the course together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Jules, just do put up Aaron's link again because, there's, oh, there's a discount at the moment as well, by the way, folks. He's got 15% off because it's Men's Health Week and he is a man. Breathe out. Breathe in. So even if you're not ready for the next stage at the moment, you're just doing this with me, that's absolutely fine. Just have Aaron in your Instagram and Katie Blake, Katie underscore the skin whisperer Jules, if you put her there too. Katie does all these amazing masterclasses on the crystals. She shows you how to use every crystal, all your questions about pigmentation, lines and wrinkles, sagging and bagging, you name it. Katie Blake will teach you. She does it every morning on um, Hey You. Breathe in. Thank you for the lady that's just commented on the 12 rivers. I cannot stress enough how fantastic it is, okay, that you do these exercises first with me, get the hang of these ones, start to notice that things feel a bit better, which they will, okay, and then when you're ready, you just do the course. It's only a week, and then you've got the info. You don't need to do any more after that. You've learnt it, and then you just do it every day after you've done this or before. Each organ of the body, there's 12 organs of the body. Each organ has a river of energy. And what we're looking to do one marble at a time is make that river flow strong, full of chi. If you've got strong chi in the body, you, your symptoms will simply reduce. They will, okay? That is what the Chinese masters have been saying for thousands of years, and they are right. Come the other way. All you need to do is go look at a river, just go Google it. <laughs> Jules will Google it. Can we put it up on the stories, please? We will Google a picture of a river in full flow. And then Jules, can we then Google a picture of a river with hardly, same river with hardly any flow? And that is what we're talking about. In fact, Jules, please, can we get that up onto the story today? Because that will look really good. Because that's what we're talking about, that the flow of energy in the body needs to feel like a river in full flow. That's you with strong chi. You cannot get sick when you're feeling like that. It's, it's not possible, the body's too strong, okay? But when the chi's weak, like a weak flow of a river, it's picking up lots of rubbish, it, the, the water's murky and polluted, it gets stuck because it's not strong enough to kind of go around corners or if there's a branch in the way, and there's not enough power in the river. That is what's going on in your body. That is, that is why the Chinese masters call it qi flowing rivers, the 12 rivers. That's why it's called that. You need to strengthen them up. You start with these exercises. This is your overall. And then you go to the specifics and you do it every day, one marble at a time. Makes a massive difference. And there's a discount. And there's a discount on products at the moment as well. Yay. And the tap is included in that and the comb. I snuck them in. I was only allowed to pick products that were kind of specifically relevant to Men's Health Week. But I made sure they were relevant to us ladies as well. I thought, come on. Luckily, no one noticed in the team. I think I was too busy demonstrating my genital gym. I distracted them. Ha 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 ha. Breathe out.
there. And then let's take this now into our swimming dragons. Now, today, so swimming dragon, by popular request, I'm going to talk about sinusitis. And then once I've finished talking about sinusitis, we're going to go into a meditation when we do the crystals. How's that? I think that's fair. That way I know that everybody is starting to get the understanding of how meditation works. And I am on a one woman mission campaign to get every single person on this feed well. OK, it's not about teaching you Qigong. It's not about meditation. Jules, we've transcended that now. We are on a mission. We are going to get you well one way or another. And you need to do meditation in order to do that. So we are going to do it together. But anyway, in the meantime, let's talk about sinusitis because it's very relevant at the moment. So um, the good news to say is that the fact sheets are finally getting written. I think there's five which have now been approved, which literally they're not going to look that amazing because poor Simon, our designer, uh, has got so much work on. I just said, just whack a logo on the front and please, will you please get them up? Nobody minds that they don't look that beautiful. They want the content. So they are coming, literally. Uh, Jules and I will work our wonders on him in the next day or two. I'm sure they'll be up by the end of the week. But anyway, sinusitis, I digress, is what's happening is that there is too much damp and phlegm inside the body, okay? And the damp is normally caused by uh, damp forming foods in the diet. Um, which are things like dairy and wheat, ice in the drinks, irregular eating patterns, greasy food, white bread, processed food. I mean, pretty much, you know, the basic diet that most of us eat without, if we're not paying close attention, you know, coffee, milk, lattes, cakes, sandwiches, toast, all that kind of stuff, bacon and eggs, you know, you name it, it sits there. And then what happens is it comes into the digestive system and it makes it all damp. And then what happens is the body puts damp into the lungs, okay? It becomes phlegm. And the body goes, uh, what are we going to do with this, thanks? We don't want this floating around, thanks. This is sticky and disgusting and it's going to create problems if we leave it lingering. So the body goes, oh, I know, we'll whack it in the lungs. And the lungs go, all right then, well then in which case, if you're going to give it to me, I've got to get it out through the face because the lungs have two options. Either the orifices of the nose and kind of this bit here because the lungs are here and they're pushing it up and out or they can send it down, they have a pairing with the large intestine. It's called a yin-yang pair. Each of the organs has a relationship with another organ. And in the case of the lungs, it's the large intestine. So often you find people who are very mucousy um, and get sinusitis also get constipation because the phlegm and all the stickiness is going down as well as up because there's, too, there's even more of it then. And then you have that problem as well. Interesting fact. So then what's happening is the lungs, because you're permanently um, kind of not doing the right lifestyle, whether it's too much stress or the wrong food or a bit of both rushing around, then what happens is the lungs are every single day desperately trying to get all this damp out of the face um, in order to deal with the fact that they know that the next day more is going to come because bodies are super clever and they know they've got our number, they know what we're up to. So consequently, the body's desperately trying to push it all out and then of course it gets stuck. Um, and that's the problem. Then what happens in the summertime is of course the pollen comes in all of this kind of with stress in the body, creating high levels of histamine, creating high levels of heat, creating high levels of toxicity, because we're all rushing around like lunatics. Then up goes the temperature, which makes it even hotter. And then up goes the pollen count, which sends histamine into the body skyrocketing. And then the whole thing just like, it's like adding sugar to a, to a glass of Coke. I mean, basically the whole thing just fizzes over and then it's completely unbearable. Okay, and the ah, ah, right. That is basically what's going on. Okay, so what do you do? Well. The first thing is you have got to get the damp and the histamine out of the body. So low histamine diet, anti-candida diet, those are the obvious um, terms to Google when you're looking for kind of like dietary advice on those things in a, in a Western way. But I've also written up what's called my rebalance plan, which is not a nutritionally based diet, I have to say, and neither is any of this a substitute for Western medicine advice. But this is what I follow and what I give to my um, people who are asking me what to do because I've already done all the work and I've cut out all the histamine and I've cut out all the damp and I've just made it super simple. OK, fresh, locally grown food that's fresh and yummy and a slightly ver and variation every day. So you've got fruit part of the week, you've got vegetables, you've got nice, healthy foods coming in and you're eating freshly and locally. That's the first thing. Then read the chapter on digestion in the book um, and download the spleen fact sheet which gives you the kind of how to eat advice don't overeat eat when you're sitting down eat in a nice environment don't eat cold food unless you're in the height of summer and even then don't have ice in your drinks like all of that advice is in there okay and then you need to basically gua sha your chest 
because you've got to get this damp and you've got to get the damp out of the digestive system so you want to gouache up around the middle gouache around the chest and of course gouache around the face and then i recommend a neti pot because it's really good for keeping the orifices clear um, that's an Ayurvedic thing, but I think it's really good. And then you can also buy these little face steamer things where you can put eucalyptus oil um, and at the moment thyme as well, which is now out in the gardens. And then you breathe that in regularly because it keeps the airways clear. And then of course you want to tap. Then you've got to get the stress levels of the body down. So back we go to Qigong and meditation. All roads always lead back to Qigong and meditation. And of course, 12 rivers. So there we go. That was the swimming dragon and sinusitis, spleen fact sheet, lung fact sheet. I would download the liver fact sheet for good measure and very soon we're going to have the stress fact sheet up. That's going to give you massive help as well. Right, so there we go. Um, now we're going to take it into the meditation. I use my two rose quartz crystals. Let's just now, I'm just gonna take now this last exercise I'm just going to give you a sense of meditation, okay? Don't worry, we are going to be doing something. All I'm asking you to do is to breathe in. And as you breathe out, imagine a smile down in the lower belly. This is here. This is called the rescue breath. This is the rescue part of the Hey You Method, okay? So breathe in. Breathe out and smile. Just do this with me. Close your eyes, breathe in. Breathe out and smile. Breathe in. Breathe out and smile. Right, take something in your hands, crystals and ice, but don't worry if not. We're gonna take that lovely calm energy. Place your hand on your lower belly this is where you're going to breathe from. This is where you're going to keep your attention. Okay, so breathe in. Breathe out and smile. And now start to add the exercise. Close your eyes. Breathe. Keep your attention down, down in the lower belly. Tension down. Breathe in, breathe out, keep your attention down. your mind wanders. Simply take it down to the lower belly. Imagine a smile.
breathe out. Enjoy this feeling. Deep relaxation. Allow the body to stretch. Breathe. And slowly blink your eyes. Come back to the room. Just take a couple of breaths. And there, that is meditation. And it's not that bad. That's okay, this is going up very soon. So, just now take your tapa and we're just... Yes, it is my wedding pic. <laughs> I wanna see that. Oh, look. <laughs> I gotta get my tap out of the way. There. That was before all the kitty winkies came along. <laughs> Jules, make sure. Katie, the skin whisperer, Jules, if you could just put Katie and Aaron's connections up there. They give you the deeper, deeper stuff. Now notice how. That meditation, that is meditation. If any of you did that exercise with me, you've just meditated. So you can't say you can't do it because you can, because you just did it. That is all it is, okay? And when you do Qigong eventually, when you can wean yourself off the hilarity of the chatty Qigong that we all do, or as well as, that's how you practice it. Very deeply relaxed. Imagine, now notice your body. Notice how it feels. Relaxed yet energized. This is what we're after, okay? This is what we want. Relaxed yet energized bodies, not traumatized and stressed and exhausted and carrying burdens and pain. All I can say to all of us, I don't think there's any person watching this feed right now that hasn't had to suffer at some point in their life, if not multiple times. This is the tragedy that, that, that makes me so sad because we want to help you, okay? But we understand your pain. We've all been there, all of us. Every single person in this community has been going through their stuff and all I can offer you is the wisdom that the Chinese masters have given us, which is basically you purge out that which doesn't um, serve you. You transcend the pain to go to the higher self and then you nourish through with the energy of breath and wholesome food. So please make sure, Helen always says from Bikram Yoga, she goes, eat some, eat some nourish, what was it? Eat some tasty food. What is it you say, Helen? I have to tell me if you've gone already. Uh, eat some nourishing food, she says every day when we do the yoga class with her and she's right and you know what every day she says it i always make sure my diet is really good that day eat good food look after yourself love yourself if you're having a healing crisis rest and be kind to yourself be kind to others be kind to yourself forgive other people for the harm that they've done you forgive yourself for the things that you're carrying inside your body and slowly but surely you will walk into your journey of ten thousand miles okay it started with a single step You've gone that now, you're going deeper into the journey and this is our lovely community and this is why we gather every morning to do what we do. So, 12.30, no sorry, 12.15 Jasmine of course, her beautiful bowls, please they're really good and then followed by my meditation at uh, 12.30 and I won't be late today because I'm back on, I'm back in gear and I've managed to get my hair dry at the same time so thank you all so much. Thank you all, have a lovely morning, God bless, thank you as ever Jules for joining me and looking after everyone. Bye, see you later.